Y'all know me. I usually don't get on this camera with no undone roots, but here we go. You know, life situations. It is what it is. Together. But here we are because I've been missing out on producing content and I want you guys to keep up with what I got going on. So, boom, you're welcome. What's going on, YouTube? And welcome back, my Uncommon Sense family clan. I know I've been gone for a minute. But I appreciate all of your love and support and coming to check me out for this one of a kind video. This one's going to center around fragrances that I cannot stop recommending. These are fragrances that I'm going to recommend regardless. Y'all ready? Let's get into that thing. Every single day, I'm going to make something great. That's my way. This is your first time to the channel. I want you to make sure you acquaint yourself, take a look around, and once you've assured that this is the place for you to be, pro tip, it is. I want you to make sure that you do all three. You want to like, comment, and subscribe, just like the blinking sign behind me says. And welcome to the Uncommon Sense Family Clan. You've been inducted. Now, I'm going to shout out content creators Amina from Experiencing Fragrances with Amina and Tyler from the Fragrance Bros. This video was a tag that I think they were tagged in and I know I'm super duper late getting to it. Better late than ever, right? First up. Clean for men. It's a staple. This is one of the fragrances that I consistently travel wearing and it just smells clean. Fresh, lemon. It just smells like freshness. And again, this is the clean for men. This is a one ounce in eau de toilette concentration and I don't care if they stop making this. You better find your something, you better get your something because I'm not gonna stop recommending it. Next up, one of my favorite fragrance houses from the designer side, Cesaro. This fragrance is wild mint. I love mint and this fragrance does mint, musk, and calypso on the way that it needs to be done. I won't stop recommending this fragrance because it smells like a few fragrances that I have in my collection just kind of melanged and mixed together. Fresh, sexy, musky. That's going to be our fragrance for the evening. Been away from home for about a month and some change. I haven't had my fragrances to spray on morning, noon, and night. Next up, got the master of musk himself, in my opinion. Now, I see so blue noir, fam. Musk, vetiver. Ugh, it's just, I will not stop recommending this fragrance. It's for the grown and sexy. I just feel like this fragrance has a positive association of memory with me and I've worn it several times I've got nothing but compliments on it it's not a projection monster but yet and still I I don't care I wear this fragrance for myself I will not stop recommending this fragrance even if it's discontinued you better find a way to make it happen okay okay next up Carolina Herrera chic for men it has a fruity musky aquatic vibe that i really enjoy in my experience and in my opinion it rivals creates millicene imperial in terms of freshness i really enjoy that scent profile and for the price you can't beat it or oh, the toilet concentration i will not stop recommending this one my man e over at simply put sense put me onto this one some years ago and i see why it's a staple fun 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 next up y'all already know what time it is Bulgari Man in Black Essence. In addition, baby. This is a fragrance I feel like is just a staple for my collection. It is one that I feel really explains and captures me and my essence. Deep, dark, and mysterious. Resonous, complicated, and elegant in simplicity. And addictive. Very sexy fragrance. It has a little bit of booziness, and I feel like this one is a cold weather staple. It's one that I've worn in the cooler temperatures, and it banged the whole night projection is great sillage is amazing longevity is top tier to rival just about any niche fragrance that i've ever owned and that's that on that coming right here 
right back at it. One fragrance that I'm not gonna stop recommending regardless to it being discontinued. Rihanna, Velvet Amber Ooh. I've decanted this one. I've given samples away. It's just one of those fragrances that it's just, ugh. it has that very clean, like powdery, barbershoppy type of feel. I'm gonna do something I normally don't do and double up. I just feel like that needs to be on, you know what I mean? Got multiple fragrances on the same body. Okay. This one is just that good. This is one I'm not gonna stop recommending. This is an uncommon scent for me. I've not heard a lot of talk about this one. It's fairly affordable. No more than about 40, 50 bucks. Four ounces, magnetic cap, great presentation. What's not to like, you know what I mean? It's one of those fragrances that you stumble onto it and you're like, damn, how did I live my life without that? I think this one may be a dupe or a play on Baccarat Rouge 540. I don't know, I'm not sure. We ain't mad at that. Can't get mad at that. Even though it's discontinued, you can find it. You just gotta be diligent. So I won't stop recommending it. I believe you deserve to smell good. Next up, Noxki by Lattes and Parfumia. Another wintertime staple. It's sweet. It's very sexy. It's deep, ambery. <clears throat> It kind of reminds you of Maison Martin Margiela's by the fireplace. I feel like this one is a better blended fragrance. And I feel also like this one has just a little bit more depth and character. Kind of has that toasted marshmallow, amber, sexy is undeniable. I will not stop recommending this one. Shout out to Amina and Doc Rose for recommending this one. Next up, another favorite, one of my favorite designer houses, Tom Ford. Tom Ford's Great Veteran EDT. This one is legitimately discontinued. This is a gentleman's staple. I will not stop recommending this one until this price starts getting just out of control. I recommend this one for business meetings and black tie affairs. I feel like you cannot go wrong with a fragrance of this caliber. I love it. Love it. I love it a lot. Shout out to my boy Trey Sense. I like it. I like it a lot. Next up. I got a lot of favorite designers. <laughs> That's because I'm a fashionable guy. I love fragrances and I love fashion, so what can I say, right? This fragrance tends to be a bit more on the divisive side. People like it or they hate it. I love the fragrance, to be quite honest with you. And again, it comes from one of my favorite designer fragrance houses, and that's Moschino. This is Toy Boy. You get rose, pear, like this one is so deep and sexy. And I honestly feel like this one is on a niche level. A lot of folks don't like this bottle. I say, if you don't like this bottle, you don't like fun. I'm looking at you, Mike, from Naps and Nurture. You don't like fun. <laughs> I love the bottles. The bottles remind me of myself. It's a black bear. What can I say? <laughs> Looks fun, but I'll bite maul your ass if you get out of line. Remember that. <laughs> and the atomizer on this bad boy is no ho. Did y'all hear that? Yeah. Mm. It has a fresh, sexy thing about it, too. Rose, pear. Mm. I honestly feel like you can wear this more than just fall. I prefer to wear it in the fall because it has a, a deep darkness that I like that feels like fall. It feels like getting cozy and getting dark early. Kind of feels like that, but it is very sexy fragrance. I won't stop recommending it. This one's probably going to be on many lists to come. What can I say? When you're good, you're good. And that's that on that. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, one of my favorite niche houses. I guess you guys can probably guess who this is. Mancera's Oud Lemon Mint Summertime Madness. Oh my God, I love many hours later mm, i love this fragrance ulam and mint is one that comes alive in the heat in my experience it has an amazing longevity and it has an amazing scent profile 
you know what? We're gonna do something we normally don't do. What? Just get some spritz. And I don't even need that much, but I don't care. Mm. Ooh, lemon mint. It's one of my favorite fragrances by the House of Mancera, if not the favorite. Don't tell the rest of my fragrances, they'll be jealous. Ooh, lemon mint, despite having zero mint, it's a fragrance that is so sexy. It features the note of almond as well, as well as some citruses. It just smells <laughs> flat out. And it's one of the more divisive ones too. A lot of people feel like, you know, it's got too much hype, whatever. This one to me is one that was hyped in Fragcom and lived up to that. It's gonna bring a close to my fragrances that I cannot and will not stop recommending. Thank you all for being around, being in my life, checking out my content, sharing, liking, subscribing, and commenting. I really appreciate that because without you all, there is no reason for me to be here. And I love creating content for my folks my people my family clan to consume digest and share that's what this whole experience of life is all about i appreciate your patience with life situations i've been away for roughly about a month and so had some family matters to take care of and i appreciate everybody that's reached out and checked up on me just to make sure everything was good i'm gonna shout those individuals out now mario dones i appreciate you checking out on your boy Keith from the Fragrant Life, I appreciate you checking me out, making sure I'm doing well. Melly Mel, I appreciate you so very much. Tyree Beatty, I just really thank you all and appreciate all the love and support, even just on a personal level, that does my heart well. And from my family to yours, we very much thank you. And it's been your man, Uncommon Sense, and I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, the top, the sides, and all the way around. Then we're going to pick it up and love on you underneath as well. I thank you guys so very much, and we are out. Till next time.